Hello everyone, welcome to EGRA platform and this is Ravin Jangir here, your electrical faculty. In this video, I am going to dictate about the applications related with the DC transmission system. As why the DC transmission system, I have already discussed that why the DC transmission system is more superior as compared to the or you can say more advantageous to use as compared to the AC transmission system. And related with that, I will discuss about the applications and for which applications the DC transmission is being used nowadays. So now look at these points. If I talk about the applications related with this uh, DC transmission, so I can add the major four points. And these four points are actually the first one is uh, your the bulk power, bulk power transmission. This is the bulk power transmission. The second point which I can add, one second, the second point which I can add that these are actually used, used in submarines, submarines and underwater cables and the underwater cables. So one is the bulk power transmission, another is uh, in the submarines and the underwater cables. They are generally at the starting the DC transmission is being actually used for the submarines and the underwater cables that you have to remember. Okay. Now the third which I can add that the controllability and the stability is also increased. So I can add here the control and the stability. The stability is increased is increased now the fourth is your related with the asynchronous time so that is if i use <clears throat> asynchronous time asynchronous time asynchronous time connection asynchronous time connection of ac uh, power systems ac power systems power systems at same or the different frequencies at same or different frequencies okay asynchronous, uh, asynchronous tie why the asynchronous tie is more important okay so now look at here these two applications are actually related with the economic factors okay then the controllability and the stability that i have uh, in the previous lectures i have already explained now i will also discuss in this topic also and the asynchronous time that i have discussed and i will dictate in in this lecture only so the bulk power transmission the first is and the second is that is used in the submarines and the underwater cables control and the stability asynchronous time and the connection of the ac power system okay that may be at the same frequency if the, there are the two ac systems I can connect with a asynchronous type that is actually the DC type. So these two these two power system, power stations can be power, or you can say the power systems can be connected. Either they may be at the same frequency or um, maybe at the different different frequencies. Okay. Now I am starting with the some of the major points which I am going to discuss here. These are that starting starting with the two initial points that the two initial points two initial points two initial points are related with are related with the economic economical advancement advancement as compared to as compared to ac transmission system okay guys now other two uh, the other two are i am i will discuss in one by one okay if i talk about the hvdc system in the hvdc transmission system transmission system then as per the economic factor as per economic factor there is a there is a variation which can be seen below the break even distance and above the break even distance i'm drawing um, in a brief okay this is a distance 
and this is a total costing total cost ac system ac transmission the costing of ac transmission is like this and the costing of dc transmission is like this so you can uh, you can see that after the break even distance this is the break even distance after the break even distance the costing of ac is more as compared to the dc transmission system it is because the connection the connected the costing i can write the costing of ac transmission costing of ac transmission is more as compared to the costing of hvdc transmission why but why it is more as compared to the as compared to the hvdc transmission because look at this the equipment connected remember equipment connected equipment connected equipment connected so what are the equipments which are connected in the ac transmission system and but why these equipments are connected because there are the some uh, these disadvantages while transmitting the power from one end to another the costing is uh, increasing so because as there are the line charging as line charging problem and the also the voltage drop problem equipments are connected but why these equipments are connected because i am writing here because because line charging line charging and one problem is the line charging and another is the voltage drop or voltage variation voltage drop or the voltage drop or the voltage variation in reactances in the reactances okay so that line charging is uh, the problematic condition related with the capacitor and this is related with the inductor okay now that line charging or the voltage reactances should be reduced for that we are using the compensation techniques so compensation techniques are used so i can write the compensation techniques are used compensation techniques are used and for that the equipments which are connected and for that the equipments which are connected are the example the some of the examples i am writing here one is the shifter phase shifter you can write and another is terminal terminal equipments equipments okay guys terminal equipments and uh, the compensation compensation techniques a series it may be a series compensation or the shunt compensation you can write another is uh, static vr and another is static vr you have to remember up to these points so i have uh, i have already discussed some of the points in the previous lecture so this is a kind of revision for you if you use a asynchronous time asynchronous time asynchronous time so that is uh, becoming the more and more advantageous to use as compared to the ac transmission system because uh, the asynchronous time has superiority okay superiority more superiority or you can say so but what is the asynchronous time but what is the asynchronous time this asynchronous time it is actually a dc time is actually a dc time what is the dc time this uh, dc tie actually connects this dc tie dc tie is actually connects the two ac power systems ac power system having a same or the different frequencies having same or different frequencies okay guys same or the different frequency that up to here you uh, you should know so asynchronous as we are using the asynchronous uh, asynchronous tie which is actually the interconnection between the two ac power systems and that may have the same frequency or at the different frequency and which enable which enable to conduct in the reliable manner okay now i am moving for the next point okay if we consider the dc dc link if we consider the dc link okay if we consider the dc link then it is more advantageous to use more advantageous 
to use but why it is more advantageous to use because the controllability the power uh, the whatever the power is flow from one end to another end then it is more advantageous to use because the controllability and the reliability for the power flow is increased so i can write the overall overall conversion cost cost reduced but why overall co conversion cost uh, reduced okay because the equipments equipment equipments initial investment is uh, more in the dc but uh, if we consider the distances after the you can say the break even distance then the conversion cost will increase uh, or you can say the conversion cost will decrease and correspondingly the reliability of transmitting power reliability reliability of transmitting power will increase okay now now the next if you find the alternative of this if you find the alternative of dc link then you can go for the ac tie line ac tie line but you have to strengthen strengthen the strengthen the ac network okay ac network strengthen the ac network at the boundary boundary conditions of two systems one second boundary conditions of two ac systems i hope uh, you have understood up to these points okay now we are moving for uh, the next one if i consider and in next case i am uh, discussing that in case of in case of disturbance in case of the disturbance condition okay the whatever is the power flow whatever is the power flow okay from uh, the power is flowing from one end to another end that will be in a uncontrolled uncontrolled and the unstable manner unstable manner and manner okay that will be in the uncontrolled and the unstable manner okay so that actually lead to and that leads to the system security security issues okay remember these points now at present if i talk about the uh, hvdc and the hvac system then at present the number of s uh, number of uh, hvdc links and the hvac links so which one is more in number so obviously the hvac systems hvac systems are uh, using we are actually using nowadays okay so the number of hvac links or tie lines are more as compared to the your hvdc links so i can write at present the hvdc links are less in number as compared to hvac tie line okay because the advancement is going on for the hvdc systems so people or you can say the world is adopting the hvdc uh, transmission system now so in future uh, you can uh, you can see the hvdc transmission in more in number and uh, in current if I, I if i talk about the current scenario the approximately the worldwide 95 uh, projects are going on worldwide and approximately 75 thousand megawatt capacity is uh, estimated for those 95 projects uh, i will dictate in uh, another points now if uh, that i have talked about the hvdc links are less in number as compared to the sv hvac links so there is actually a fight going on between the hvdc system and the hvac systems because the more and more advanced advancements are going on okay and the more improvisations are going on so ac transmission so i can write there is a fight there is a fight between fight between the hvac and 
एच वी डी सी सिस्टम एच वी डी सी ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम बिकॉज द इम्प्रोवाइजेशन रिलेटेड विद एच वी इम्प्रोवाइजेशन फॉर एच वी एस सी इज ऑल्सो गोइंग ऑन सो फाइट विद इन एच वी एन एस सी सो इम्प्रोवाइजेशन रिलेटेड विद एच वी एस सी इज You can see the facts. Okay, what are the facts? The flexible, the flexible, or the flexible AC transmission system. Transmission system. Okay, if we are improvising in the HVDC system, so this uh, another community uh, community related to who. Who is engaged with the HVAC system is also improvising, and they are coming with the new and new solutions later, such as the FEX, which is actually the flexible AC transmission system, which I will discuss in upcoming lectures. Okay, now if I talk about uh, the the uh, HVDC capacity, if I talk about the HVDC capacity, HVDC capacity, so every year it is increasing by. Every year, it is increasing by twenty five hundred megawatt. Okay, twenty five hundred megawatt. And currently, and currently, if I talk about the worldwide level, worldwide, then approximately ninety five projects are currently going on projects. Related with, related with, HVDC are going on, going on. Okay, and uh, the total installed capacity, which is estimated for that, is total installed capacity is estimated up to seventy five thousand megawatt. That you have to remember seventy five thousand megawatt, and. you know that uh, the advan advancement for the hvdc and the hv system hv ac systems are parallelly the advancement advancement related with those uh, transmission system are going on in parallel way okay so let's see the which one uh, which one will win but i think the hv dc system as uh, as per the economical factor point as per the economical factor point is nowadays is more reliable okay so i hope you have understood up to this point thank you